Hello everyone, welcome to round three of this chess.com five minute plus zero increment blitz tournament. It is seven rounds, so there's going to be seven videos in this playlist. The first two episodes are in the playlist linked below, so if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Um, if you've just watched the second video and you're watching the third one now, then um, I'm sure you'll find it quite funny how abruptly this has begun. I'm going to play a semi-slav here. I've been quite enjoying the semi-slav recently. So let's give it a go, see what we can do with it. Uh, okay, e3. Um, let's go a6. Let's go a6. This is a very typical Slav pawn setup. Bishop to d6. This bishop can't get out yet. My opponent might try to go e4 here. And he goes c5 first, okay. He still might play e4 though. Although, if he does go e4, then the d4 pawn is going to be potentially quite vulnerable. Because it's just a bit of a backwards pawn now. I don't know if I want to do this or not. I'm actually going to play h6 to stop the bishop coming out. Uh, let's go knight to d7. I would happily do an exchange like this. My only issue in this position, of course, is my bishop. I could take with the queen. But I think taking with the knight makes more sense. Because we basically, at all costs, do not want to let white play the move d5. Because if white can't play d5 then his d4 pawn is going to be vulnerable forever. Although we may have to play e5 soon to allow our bishop out. So worth considering. I'm going to castle. I don't think I'm in any danger. I think I should be okay to castle. g4 might be a valid move. But moves like queen d5 might make that, might make that a little bit more difficult. Hmm... Can we play this? e5 takes queen e7 castles. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm going to go knight d5. If my opponent trades, then fantastic. Um... I want access to the f4 square, I think. And I also want to put my queen here on f6 just to exert some more pressure on the position. Also support an e5 push. But the problem is, I'm not sure I want to trade my bishop for it. Uh, okay, I didn't actually consider that maneuver. That is really, really annoying. That is insanely annoying. And I'm actually just going to have to give up my, G my um, h6 pawn now, I think. I could go queen f5, and after takes takes, the pawn is defended. Yeah, it's probably better. That way we actually open up the e-file as well, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, I'm sure my opponent will castle, but something like bishop to e6, uh, rook to d8, that's not the end of the world. Yeah, let's go queen g4, I think. I don't really want to drop back to f6 because I think my opponent will probably repeat the position. And at the end of the day, I want to win. I want to win this game. So our queen's putting pressure on a couple of things. Our bishop's nice. How do we want to continue? Well, we could play e5 because of this pin. E5, H3 into Mezzo. Queen H5, take. Take, take, take. Oh my god, I can't draw arrows. That's okay. But I just don't want to trade this bishop off. But I don't know if I have a choice. I don't know if I have a choice. Let's play e5. At the end of the day, I can at least liberate my light squared bishop. Which should be a good thing. Ooh. 
That looks wrong. That looks wrong. Well, okay. If if E D four, I'm a little bit worried about moves like Queen D three, but actually I could just drop back to F six with the knight. So that's fine. Let's take. My opponent could just go h3 to try and force my queen off of defending that, and I don't think I can do anything about it. Let's just drop back. But now we have some snipers set up. We have some snipers going. Let's go bishop to e6. Maybe not a good move, actually. Uh, knight d4. Do we have any discoveries that are useful? I don't think so. I think that was actually just a bad move. Annoyingly. That's really, really bad. Um... What, what I'm going to do is something that probably isn't the best way of going about this position at all. I'm giving up b7, and if my opponent takes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take with the rook, offer him a rook trade to ruin my pawn structure, and basically try and crush him on the king side. He doesn't go for it, though. Okay. Doesn't go for it. do this I might have been able to go queen e5 there I'm not sure This is not great. This is not great, to be honest with you. Yeah, I didn't want to see that. That kills a lot of my ideas. Let's do this. Just trying to make something happen here. Oh, I just ran out of time. I just ran out of time. Oh, I was trying to calculate these lines. Something like this. But there's nothing there, which is why I was pausing. I suck with no increment, honestly. Very frustrating. I mean, I didn't execute that attack properly. I had a good position. Here, this is actually the way forward. I guess the knight can't move because of queen h2. Uh, it's defended by the queen, but... Ah, that's so frustrating. So frustrating. We should not have lost that. Um, no, I don't want to withdraw. Um, ugh, yeah, not ideal. We played this fine. But rook g6 was not the way. It was a little bit last ditch, to be fair. I did consider this line... And with the opposite colored bishops, with perfect play, it's probably a draw, but it's also very difficult to make that happen. You've got to find moves like bishop c1, which uh, difficult to find. Difficult to find, but okay. I mean, two out of three so far. I feel like we could have done better than that. I'm very happy with the way the opening went, to be fair. Um, I don't really have any issues with that. But okay, there's four more rounds to go. If we just perform better than that in the remaining rounds, no reason why we can't win the tournament. There's seven rounds in total. Very unlikely anyone's going to go seven out of seven. So I guess we just take that as a bit of a warning shot and hopefully we get some slightly easier games uh, as a result of losing that one. But annoying. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes of this tournament series, 
then the playlist is linked down below. So check that out. If you've already seen those, then YouTube will be recommending right over here a video on my channel that it thinks you're really going to like. So smash the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in round four.